Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this tutorial is going to be on this super dewy look, and I hope you guys like it. So having already moisturized my skin with the Ola Harrison Vitamin C Skin Brightening Cream, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Glotion in Light, and I'm going to apply that all over my face, and this is just going to add a little bit more glow to the dewiness. Starting off with the Natasha Tenona Face Glow in number 42, I am going to base my face. This foundation, I love it a lot. Um, I don't like to use it in the summer because I feel like it's super oily. My skin is oily already and then it adds a little bit more oiliness to my face and I just look like a sweaty mess. But if you really like that dewy dewy look, like how I am doing here, then this would definitely be the foundation for you. It is not full coverage. To me, it's more of a medium coverage, which I really, really like. Um, but overall, the foundation is very, very beautiful. Now, going in with the L'Oreal Full Wear Concealer, um, I'm just going to correct my under eye and I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Taking my RCMA translucent powder, I'm just going to go over top that concealer that I just blended out so like that it can stay all day. I am making sure that I just set my eyelids and under my eyes and the sides of my nose. But everything else I am not going to powder because again this is a dewy look and if we powder everything then we're kind of doing the opposite of what we want. So just under the eyes, on the eyelids, and the sides of my nose is what I'm doing here. Now, I am loving this product um, for my eyebrows. It's the Iconic London, and so far, so good. It's a really good product, um, and I love the color. It's just perfect for my eyebrows. Now, taking the Anastasia Soft Glam makeup palette i am going to apply this shade all over my lid and then i am going to go in with a light orangey shade and i am going to use that as my transition shade and then i'm going to take the color burnt orange and i am going to deepen my crease with that and but i want to keep it soft this is going to be a soft glam eye look I just really want to focus on the skin. I don't want to bring too much attention to the eyes. Applying that burnt orange shade again to my lower lash line just to kind of bring the eye look together. And then I am going to take my Tartiste Double Take Liner and just do my wing liner. Nothing fancy, just a regular liner. And I am going to use that same pencil and just use the pencil side and align my waterline. And we're done with the eye makeup for now. I'm taking my Chanel Soleil de Tan cream bronzer and I am just applying that to my cheeks to kind of bronze my face and also contour at the same time. I love this product. Again, it's a cream product, um, so that'll kind of help with the dewiness. Even though I do go over it with a powder bronze, only because um, when things are too oily, they tend to move around a lot, and I do not like that. So I'm just adding a little powder bronzer on top of that cream bronzer just to give it a little bit more oomph. Now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild highlighter, I forget the name of it, and I am going to apply that to the highest points of my cheeks, my brow bone, right over my brows, a little bit over my... The bridge of my nose, sorry, and my Cupid's bow, of course.
taken the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray and I am spraying the heck out of my face with this thing. And then once I do that, once it dries down a little bit, I take that highlighter again and just dab it over that wetness because this will help enhance the highlighter a little bit more and just make it shinier. This product right here is a Pat McGrath highlighter. It's two sides. I am going to use this side right here, which is similar to Vaseline, or it's similar to what Vaseline can do. Um, it just comes in a more expensive packaging. But anyways, so I'm taking my finger here and I am just taking a little bit of that and applying it over the highlighter that'll help once again to enhance that highlighter a little bit more here i am taking the kylie cosmetics um, lip pencil in dolce k or dulce k i'm not sure what it's called i wanted to keep it nude so now i'm taking the anastasia loose powder highlighter and i am dabbing that over the lipstick as well as that Vaseline side of the Pat McGrath product and this will just give it a glossiness to my lips. Now these are the House of Lashes Noir Fairy in black and I'm applying that to my eyes. This will open up my eyes a little bit more and give it a little bit more glam. And that's it guys, that's all for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself and are able to easily pull off this look. Until next time. Hey guys, it's me again. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you guys can be notified when I upload my videos. Don't forget to share with your friends and let them know about my channel so like that we can all learn how to do makeup together. See you guys next time.